Hello everyone, you are watching Average Joe Video. My name is Joe and today we are going to talk about how this key could save you 30, 60, even up to $100 per month. And if you're not sure why or you're not sure what I'm talking about, you have to stay tuned and check this out. So let's get into it. And by the way, please consider subscribing for more useful tips just like the one I'm about to go over. Okay, so what exactly is this key for and how is it really going to save you that much money per month? Well, let's talk about how this actually came about. So I don't care where you live, odds are you may have encountered a mouse here and there. You may have had a need to actually try to catch mice around your home. And again, that's gonna vary depending on your particular scenario. But I would say that it's safe to say most of us have encountered a mouse problem at one point or another. And this particular key is actually a key that works a bait box. Now, I'm not going to reveal the name of the extermination company that I was using, but I will simply say that I was paying an extermination company every three months nearly $120 every three months. Initially, when I got set up with that extermination company, I was paying $99 every three months, so it has went up some. And I thought about this more and I thought, well, you know, with inflation, I understand they're raising their prices, but what is it about what they're using? What products are they using that is really going to make a difference in terms of taking care of a mouse problem. So I started doing a little bit more research. And one of the first things I thought about was, what about the bait boxes that they use? How does all of this work? So let me go ahead and let me illustrate for you how this key works and what I'm talking about exactly. Okay, so the key actually fits the bait boxes that are here from the extermination company that I actually just recently canceled. Now, some extermination companies are going to want them back, not a big deal. I'm gonna provide links to, for Amazon uh, where you can actually buy your own bait boxes. But I did cover up the name of the extermination company with electrical tape here. Again, this is not singling out any company, this is just my opinion. And please keep in mind that I'm just a DIYer, so, take that into consideration. But this particular key fits these bait boxes. And all you need to do if you are having a mouse problem and you are fine with using mouse poison, of course, you wanna be careful around pets and children, put these in areas where they're out of reach of both pets and children and where you believe it is a safe area. Okay, so you do that at your own risk. But if you take a look here, um, this particular key actually fits this style of bait box. So let me open this up for you. Okay, so this is what I mean about the style of key that it takes. If you see the opening like this, then you know that you're looking at this style of key. And admittedly, every time I try to open this, I always want to take this other end of it. I don't know why, but it's actually the small end that opens the mouse size bait box. If you have a rat size bait box by this same manufacturer, then you're gonna use this other end of the key. So that's not totally a waste. That's what that's there for. I haven't really had a rat problem, fortunately, but I'm assuming that this is just as effective with rats, except the trap holds, the bait box holds much more um, bait in terms of quantity. So you could obviously look into that, but it's real simple. You can just put that in and turn it as I just did. And there it is, there is our block. That's all it takes is that. There are pins here at the sides where you could put other styles that are more of just a cube style. Um, this will not stand up in there. It's actually um, too tall. It's actually more effective when it's placed like this for some reason, don't ask me why. That's just how all of them have been and they've worked pretty well. But if you have a smaller block, I'm assuming they could just work its way out through there. I mean, it's still a poisonous uh, bait, so I don't know that there's really a difference. That's just the way that it's set up. But if I take this key out, you can hear just that little click. It's not opening back up again. So that's basically all that there is to it. So all of this time, I have been paying a professional extermination company to come and set traps and place bait throughout my home. 
And certainly if you're an exterminator, I'm not saying that it's not a professional job. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I thought that when I paid a professional company to come in and take care of a rodent problem, a mouse problem specifically, that I was paying them to use products that basically are not available to the average person. My assumption was if I went to a local hardware store or I went to Amazon or Walmart and I went and purchased rodent bait, that I would not be able to acquire the same bait that they're using, which by the way, I can tell you has been extremely effective. So I kept paying for this extermination service, assuming that the products that they were using were for professional applications, they weren't available to people like me, the average Joe, and essentially that's why I continued to pay it until I realized, well, wait a minute, I, I thought it looked like they were these green blocks the one day that the technician was putting into these, these traps or into these bait boxes, I should say. And I realized, wait a minute, I thought I've seen those before in my searches for different baits. Well, it turns out I have. So the kind of bait that is being used are these baits, which are the contract all weather blocks. They kill rats, mice, and meadow voles, okay? And this has been working wonderfully. Now, obviously we don't usually have as much of a mouse problem until we get into the fall and the winter months when it starts getting cold and the mice are looking for somewhere to go that is warm. If you haven't already, this would be a great time to press that like button if you find this useful and please consider subscribing. So I opted to purchase four four pound containers mainly because that way they can stay sealed and I'm not opening an 18 pound bucket. So as far as the cost per chunk of bait, I'm sure that you're getting a better deal if you buy an 18 pound bucket of them. But my concern is in my application, since it's really that they're under control already and I'm just doing this more as a maintenance thing, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase the four four pound buckets. Uh, I wanna say the total for this was like somewhere around $125. Truthfully, this will probably last me for many years. And from what I've read, as long as these are stored, sealed, and they're not in extreme temperatures, they can last for a very long time. Yes, it's possible that the baits may need to be changed out, but I figured with four independently sealed containers, it would just be much more storage friendly than having one giant 18 pound container that then I will have broken the seal on and I don't know how long that's gonna last. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave several links below this video in the description. And I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do um, get a small commission from qualifying purchases. I greatly appreciate you using those links. It helps out the channel. So I'm gonna leave a link to bait boxes. I'm going to leave a link to the orange gloves that I was using. You should be using some type of gloves anytime you're handling poison like that. Uh, I, I use them anytime I handle the traps. I've mentioned those gloves before on my channel. They are outstanding. Okay, I'm also going to leave a link to this key. All right, basically, you can get these boxes. There's a couple different companies that make them. You just wanna make sure that you get this key. People can argue, yeah, you can use a screwdriver and yes, that may work, but it's a lot simpler when you just have the correct key. And this is the correct key for this particular bait box. So from what I can tell, there's really only two styles of bait box that are used or manufactured, I should say, that are mainstream. Um, so there's just two different styles of key. Um, one of the styles, which is the kind that I have, just has a hole in the center. The other style actually has two holes that are spread apart. They just take two different styles of key. So if you have a mouse problem and you wanna take care of it for good and you don't wanna deal with paying an exterminator over $100 a quarter, this is the route that you wanna go. If you haven't already, this would be a great time to smash that like button and press subscribe for more useful videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. See you the next time.